Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Uh, today's meeting is all about uh, discovering how using Boyum's CRM for Outlook can dramatically help the performance of your team in gaining access and using data within SAP Business One without having to change from Outlook all the time back into the original SAP Business One system. Um, today, uh, I'm joined by uh, Rosie, who's from Boyum, uh, and uh, she is extremely experienced in implementing a lot of Boyum solutions around the world, um, currently residing in America, in Atlanta. Uh, so uh, it's always helpful, always great to work with, and uh, someone I work with on a, a regular basis. And, and today, as I say, with regards to um, uh, Boyum itself, some of you will already know Boyum, but, but it's very well established. And that's one of the reasons Ascari loves to partner with uh, Boyum itself is simply because we only keep our customers by giving you good service. And if we don't do that, you know full well you can go to another partner who will also deal with Boyum. So our relationship with Boyum is brilliant. It's uh, something that we always promote. Uh, and in fact, you cannot buy SAP Business One from Ascari without Boyum B1 usability package and print and delivery with it as standard. So what we're talking about today is CRM for Outlook. And that does a number of things, as you can see on the screen here, that Rosie, when I transfer um, control over to her, will be able to show you and actually demonstrate how these things work for you. So without further ado, Rosie, if you'd like to introduce yourself, I'll transfer control over to yourself. Yes, thank you so much, Alan. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining today. Rosie Coronado, I used to implement the SAP Business One for many, many years, and I'm with the Boyum team now. And, uh, you know, like Alan said, I love the products. It's really, I would say, everybody should really have um, uh, uh, the Boyum products because it makes their everyday life so much easier. In today's session, we're going to look um, um, into CRM for Outlook. So what is CRM for Outlook? It is a great tool where you can do SAP activities in Outlook without ever logging on to SAP. And in this day and time, we are going through 2020 right now through the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. This is a very helpful tool, very helpful tool. Uh, so you don't have to log on. You don't have to VPN to SAP Business One. You can do everything in Outlook, all your customer relation activities. So if you look at this screen, you see you can see your business partner information. Uh, uh, you can see KPIs. You can see the balances. You can create activities, service calls. Um, if it misspelled, I apologize. <laughs> Opportunities, quotes, and sales orders. And the beauty of it, it is real time. It's real time, meaning you put a sales order via CRM uh, for Outlook in the system. If somebody is in the office, if somebody has SAP running, they will see that right away in SAP also. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump into the system. If I open up my Outlook, you see I have my Outlook here. And you see I have two more tabs here. OK, so this is the business partner tab. This is the my tab. I will get to that. So I have an email highlighted and I see all the information about the business partner because this email is recognized, it's an email for myself, that I am a contact person for Microchimp. If I click on a different email, you'll see it changes the business partner because Vicky is a contact person with this business partner. And what's really nice, you can click on the golden arrow here and you see the business partner information. You see the contacts, addresses, properties, just like you would see in SAP Business One, just in an Outlook kind of way, I always say. You do not need to have SAP running. You do not have to VPN to SAP, nothing. As long the SAP server is running somewhere in the world. Meaning, I'm, as Alan said, I'm based out of the US. If my server is in Europe, absolutely I can uh, um, connect to that data 
you can create, as, a, so, as you saw on the slide, activity, service call, opportunities, quotation and orders. I will get back to that. You can, if you're traveling, if you are in a hotel, you just click on the address and it will open up Google Maps for you. You can make a phone call to the customer with uh, an application from your uh, computer. Here you see sales year to date, sales month to date, total documents for this business partner. Very nice overview. Here you can see the UDFs. You can decide which UDFs from the business partner you want to display. And here you see the top five items sold for this year. It goes up to five items. I only sold four items this year for this business partner. So you have really kind of right at your fingertips all the business partner information. And then you have the uh, um, uh, contact person information right here. And you can say, you know what? I don't want to send Vicky an email. I want to send somebody else from the company an email. You just switch and it opens up right away for you. And also you can see UDFs right here from the contact person. One of my favorite is tracking. Tracking is your sticky notes. So instead of having sticky notes, I still do it. Be honest, you call this person or, you know, call, uh, you know, follow up on this quote. You can track an email. And what you do, you click on track. I'm going to delete it quick. I'm going to click on it again. I have two trackings. What this does, I am tagging it for me to go back, that is, I tracked it. Maybe I want Alan to look at it. Alan can see it here. Alan, please look at this. I got this email. We got to do something about it. Okay. Or you can track a document. Like I track the sales order and you can pull this sales order up. So there's a reason I tracked it. So you need to follow up on this document or on this email. And you see the trackings right here. And when you're done, hey, I already took care of it, then you just click on it and it deletes it. I love this. I call it my sticky notes. Then you can do your acti you can do activities here, service call opportunities, quotes and orders. So if I click on activity, it's telling me I already have an activity for this email, but that's okay. We do another one. I love that it actually copies in the email right here. So then you do your activity just like you do in SAP. Is it a phone call you have to do? You put in your type, you put in your subject, okay? Then you put your remarks right here, okay? And then you see right here, I have attachment set up. In CRM for Outlook, you can set up attachments once you install the server component and you see it automatically attaches the attachment that's on the email. If I would have three attachments, of course, it would attach the three attachments. Okay, so if I send you an email with attachments and you create an activity, it attaches it automatically. But of course, you can go ahead and attach some other documents you would like. Absolutely. So it's attached and you, of course, can link documents just like in SCP. You say, okay, this is email was uh, regarding this sales order, just like in SAP, okay? Then, very nice, so I'm gonna change the date here. Today is, am I right here, the 23rd? Yep, did it wrong. So I'm gonna go here and I say, okay, it's for this date, 10.30 a.m. And then I said, hey, I want you to put this on my Outlook calendar too because I need a reminder. I forget otherwise. And I'm inviting somebody. So I'm going to create a meeting in Outlook and I'm going to invite another person to it. And there we go. The title is Ascari. You saw I put that in there. And then I'm going to invite Alan to it. I'm not going to do that, Alan. I'm going to X out. So he would get the invitation. It would put it on his Outlook calendar. And if I go here now and I go to the, today's date, you see it put it right here, right here, 10.30. It put it on my calendar. And once we're done with this webinar, I will get that reminder. 
Okay, so I put it in there and the beauty is I have my email uh, copied into this and when Alan gets that, he has his email, he has the email copied into it and he knows what was it's going on. Okay, so absolutely love the activities. And as soon it's added, here I have my open documents. So is it an opportunity? If it's a quotation, here are my activities. I have a bunch in there, it's a simple database. And you see the activity has been created. It's already in the system. And I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna pull actually up SAP. The reason I'm doing it is because I want you to see that it's real time. So again, you don't have to have it open. You don't have to have it, um, you know, be connected to it as long as server is uh, running. So let's say I just put in activity. I'm in Atlanta and Alan goes into SAP. He can see that activity right away. Here it is. There's my attachment. There's my link document and so on. So Alan, uh, so I'm going to say, as Kari rocks, I'm going to update the activity for whatever reason. I'm going to click update. Okay, so you are in a, a CRM for Outlook, you're working in there. You know, you do your everyday task and then, you know, that something comes up about this activity. Then you can go in here and open it up. And there we go. It's updated. You see that? It's like magic. So it's real time. That's what I wanna. I wanted you to uh, uh, see that it's real time. You don't have to synchronize anything, nothing. You do something in SAP, you can see it over here in Outlook and vice versa. You can do sales opportunities, sales quotation. Let me pull up a quotation I already have in there. And here, same thing, you make a change, you add more items, you change the quantity, it updates SAP and vice versa. You just saw that. And what's really nice is you can, you can, nice is you can actually take a sales uh, quotation and you copy it to a sales order. And just like in SAP, of course, it will close out the quotation it adds the sales order. You gotta put your delivery date. You put in your remarks. It will update it, and you save and close, and it's done. And the quotation is now closed in SAP, and it's closed with this business partner. So right here, you create it new. As you saw, you can go in here. You just do a new sales order, just like you are used to in SAP. You can copy a quotation and then you see all the open documents. You can go in here, pull it up, customer send you maybe an email and you need to change something on a sales order, on a quote, and you absolutely can do it right here. Okay, so totally, um, uh, uh, totally, I mean, you have everything at your fingertips. So now maybe you have a customer, you need to look up a customer, you don't have an email. So you have been working in here and you need to look up an email. Uh, you need to look up a different customer. That's not a problem. You just click to find and then you say, um, I need to look up MaxiTech and you have everything here. So you see all the contacts here for MaxiTech. Well, I have a lot of here, you see all the open documents here and you can of course sort them by whatever. And so you wanna go in here and you pull up the activity from here. Or if it's a sales or service call, you pu pull it up from here. So you have the flexibility to do it from here. You don't need to have an e uh, email highlighted. Here are my trackings, you can pull up the trackings from here, okay? So anything you do, this is a sales quotation tracking, you pull it up from here. So you don't have to highlight an email. You have the flexibility to pull up a business partner from here. Okay, you can uh, pull up a vendor. Yes, you can do that. You cannot do purchase orders in here, but you have vendor information also. Okay, so you need to add a new contact. Absolutely, you do it from here and you even can go out to Outlook and pull it from your Outlook uh, address list. That's what it's called. I barely use that anymore. Or you say, hey, I have a new business partner. There's a new business partner. You can create a new lead, customer or supplier. 
vendor. Okay, you can absolutely do that. Okay, and of course it goes right away to SAP Business One. So you have everything right here. The other thing I want to show you, as Alan mentioned, you know, B1 Usability Package. I hope you all have it. If you don't, then you're missing out. If you have the Usability Package, you can create your own custom reports and just pull them up here. So this shows me all the sales orders and sales, uh, the credit memos for this business partner. If I switch business partner, the report, of course, looks different because now it looks at this business partner. So you can have custom reports if you have the usability package. Okay. So that's, uh, I absolutely love that. Uh, oh, but here are the reports. Another thing I want to show you, remember I did the activity and I, you know, the activity was added. You can also configure if you are in SAP, let's say Alan is in SAP and he also wants when he creates a meeting in SAP, an activity type meeting in SAP, he also wants to sync it to his Outlook calendar and it wants to, he wants it to create a meeting. Perfect. You can do it. You can do it vice versa. Another thing is we have this tracking. So it says when you uh, automatically create an activity when you send an email. Okay, track and send. So what this does, just so you know, this was a feature request. You send a new email. Okay, again, I send a new email to Alan. I can set track and send. See how it highlighted it? And then I click send. What this does, it would create an activity now in the system of the email I send. This is a configuration you have right here under settings. I want you to know that, okay? Because sometimes this gets, gets a little bit lost because under the configuration, you have many options right here, okay? Activity on track and send. Attach an email to activity. Instead of create the activity only, you can attach the email to the activity, okay? So going back here, this is all business partner related. You have everything at your fingertips, you saw it. This one I forgot, of course. This is the balance of the business partner. Imagine you get an email, a new controller of a company and has it here and the new controller, how much do I owe you? You have it right here. Then you can go straight here. Hey, you have two air invoices open. Here are the numbers, 363923. Okay, so now I'm going over here. You are a sales employee, let's say. Those are, this is my data. Me as the sales uh, employee. Those are my open sales invoices. And you see those are different business partners because I have more than one business partner. So this is all me related. Okay. So those are my sales here to data. This doesn't look very good, does it? I haven't put in this a lot in this database. Those are my sales here to date, my uh, uh, a purchase purchase here to date, my purchase month to date, because I have purchasing uh, visible right here. You can hide that if you have nothing to do with that. Here are my sales. Doesn't even look worse. This is my sales here to date, uh, months to date. Those are my total documents. So you can follow your progress right here. This is overdue. Absolutely love it. Sample database, as you see, this all is overdue. Pass through, those are documents, I need to do something with it. And then this is upcoming. Remember the one I just did today? Here, it tells me, ask Kari. So this is upcoming. So I can, I'm, everybody works in Outlook every day. So every day I come in here, the first thing I would go is in here, what do I have upcoming? Hey, I have two activities upcoming and this is overdue. There should be really nothing in here, okay? in your case. And then again, if you have the usability package, you can have your own report, you as the sales employee. So you can say, hey, Alan, can you tell your team to write me an SQL report out of SAP with the B1 app to pull all my customer and their balances? So I have like a report. Yes, you can do that. Oops, didn't work this one. He can write your report, and this is not a pretty report, okay? Uh, I have to attach the other one again. And you can have a list of your customers and their balances or whatever um, whatever information you need. 
okay? So you can have your own custom reports and then it's only attached to you. And maybe you have another report, maybe Alan needs a different report because he's interested in some different data. So this, you need to have the usability package to run this report, attach custom reports, okay? So, and then I just go in here, you saw I have purchasing uh, uh, visible, but what you would do is you just go in here and you, you just take it off and you should be good to go and it will take it off if I save it. There we go. Okay, so again, this is my data. Have everything at your fingertips, what's going on with you as a salesperson. This is the business partner information. If I go to a business partner, for example, let me see if I have one really quick. I don't have one. There we go. Nothing comes up. Why? Because there, this email is not recognized in SAP. This is not a contact person in SAP. You say, oh, it's not an SAP connection. Or you say, hey, I'm going to add this one. This is a new employee to Maxide. Oh, you need to find it. You're going to do a search. You put three letters in here. Okay, this is the only one that has MA uh, Max. And there we go. It comes up right away. That's the beauty of it. Like I said earlier, you get a new employee. Hey, I'm a new employee with us, Kari, et cetera, et cetera. You click on this. This is a SAP connection. Just look up the business partner and you have everything at your fingertips. I said, hey, this is the balance. Okay, you see what they have open and so on, okay? So that is so, so, so Rosie, you see this is a great way of, of both internal and external salespeople giving absolutely. the core business the information they need without having to learn the, CR, the, the whole ERP system. Exactly, exactly. Fine. This is, it's very popular, has become very, this is a very popular tool because you basically have everything at your fingertips and you know, you everybody works in Outlook, I do it. And it's so nice you have it right there. You don't have to VPN to your, you know, to the server and so on, you have everything right here. Brilliant, okay. Well, Does anyone have any questions? No, it doesn't look like it, but what we will do is make this available on our website and also we'll email a copy of this recording to the people who've attended today. Um, if, uh, if anything comes from that, Rosie, I'll let you know. Uh, thank you very much for your time. And mm -hmm. uh, that, was, that was great. It's, uh, it's good to see that you can access data that's in SAP through Outlook. So if you have any staff who, one, are untrainable, or two, live in Outlook, we can give them the power of SAP within that interface instead. Exactly, and it's real time. That's that's what that's I love. It's real oh, time, real time is, mm -hmm. is is so important. It's the key, right. Yeah. right. In that case, Rosie, thank you so much for your time. Um, thank you very much, everyone, for attending. We will be in touch. You will be able to see the video of this whole recording. Um, via our website or as a video that we'll email to you separately. So uh, uh, thanks again, and uh, we'll speak to you again in the future. Thank you so much. Thanks now. Bye-bye.